Hi, I'm Dennis Brock, and uh, I am the owner of Brock Optical, creator of the Magiscope. And if you're watching this, it's because your stage has come off, which is not a normal occurrence for us, which is why I decided to videotape this. And I had to figure out why it was happening, because, you know, we've been using the same glue for over two decades, and that's this uh, 3M product, which I thought was superior to your basic 5-minute epoxy which it is under normal conditions, but I think what happens is they sent us something that was several months old because the, the, there's no way of telling the expiration date on this. It's not like milk or cheese or something. You have to figure out, you have to give them the code and then they'll tell you the expiration date, which is what happened. And I think because they had a turn down in business, it sat on the shelf. And then we had a likewise slowing down a business and sat on the shelf for us. So this is what you get. And many times UPS drops things from several, several feet and this has to be able to withstand that. I'm going to send you some sandpaper in which, with which to sand both the uh, plate that holds the stage on the stand, which usually doesn't need as much as the other part. We're concerned about the black part sticking because the glue doesn't seem to want to stick to this. And if you have a little bit of glue left on it, you could just take a knife and push it off. If it's not sticking well, which is what I suspect, it will come right off. What you want to do is take the sandpaper and rough up that area. Look at the, how much you have to cover. This, this is a, these are matching surfaces here. As you see, you sand both, but you sand this one more. For all I know, there's a slight oil film, but we tried different solvents and it still didn't want to take, but we didn't realize that they sold us glue that was probably six months old. And then it sat on our shelves for a few months. And the life law span of that glue is 15 months before all you know it doesn't work very well after 12. Now you see I've begun to expose some of the bare metal, that's I'm definitely far enough there. And I want to take a paper towel and clean it off, clean off the dust, off of both surfaces. And then we'll start the uh, gluing process. And then finally the optical alignment, which sounds fancy, but it's really not very difficult at all. All right, now I want to use two-part epoxy because I know this stuff works. When it comes to you, the lid will be attached. You need to push it off of it. They, it's very clever. They attach the lid to it. The lid is asymmetrical because so is the tube. Oh, let me move this out of the way. Now, um, what I want to do is, is tell you that this is, it looks simple, but it's not. You really need to lean on the darker side. You want to lean. Let me get this out of the way so you can see it. On the darker side, that stuff is twice as thick. In this case, I've already used this one, so they're coming out okay. In your case, you might have to take a toothpick. This is true of any time you buy this stuff. That's about the right amount. I don't know if you can see that. You might need to take a toothpick when you first get this. See, it still wants to come out and clear out that area. I have found that when you first get it, you can clean it out with a toothpick. There's like a little plug there, you can get it out and it starts fine. Now you take that, I give you a popsicle stick, you can use it as it is. I like to trim it. it. Works better when I trim it. Mix it thoroughly like you would eggs. Now did I clean this side? I don't even know. I don't remember if I cleaned the side, so let's do it again. Clean it up. Whip up the glue. Then you're going to apply the glue in an even film. This is actually more than I need. You get quite a lot out of one of those tubes. Take your base. Get about this much on there. Start on one side. Gradually drag it across. Flip it over and get the other side. Nice even layer. Then we're going to do the optical alignment. Now you want to take the, pull the eyepiece straight out and unscrew the objective by the knurlings. These are the little grooves there for your fingers to hold. Put that aside. Put your tube back in as it is normally put in. Put the uh, screw insert down south there. Put it close to the bottom, not, not too far, about right there. Anywhere in there is fine. And then you take this. Now I want you to see that there's a groove here from where the stage was before. I don't know if you can see that there. But that's where you want to put it. You want to put it on even and straight. And that's what having this tube is going to help you do. See what straight is. Straight is when we go to this tube, 
uh, through the center and then through the light source, which you'll easily see. If once we take the camera off, we're going to bring that over here. So why don't you uh, hold on, hold on a second? So you start with it even and straight. Look over it, push it back. Now let's detach the camera, and I'll show you what this looks like. What I am seeing right now, which is how I align it. Now, I'll hold the stand for me. We can see now quite clearly the brass around the center. Let me show you what happens when I move it. You see we are throwing it off just then. Oh, let me hold this steady. We can see that's not properly aligned. We can also look at the microscope and see one foot sticking out more than the other. Let's put this on a slight zoom. Alright, now I'm going to hold the camera and bring this into center again. See, all you do is center it. That's all. Just like that. Look down the center of the tube, place the light in the center of what you see down below. And that's all. But you want to also look at the feet out front and see if they're on there evenly. Takes a little moving around, a little adjustment. Basically you want to see that the feet are the feet look even, which they do. And it looks even in the tube. And that's all you have to do. Let it sit for a while. I would give it a couple of hours. It's even in the front. It's even through the tube. And that's fine. Even the back looks even. That's all you have to do. Now what I want to tell you also, because you're inconvenience, anything you buy in the next year, an accessories, lenses, so you want to try out the wheel, which is a cool thing, or field case, it's, it's at wholesale, which is about 40% off. I hope that, that helps you in some way. And let me know if, if this is difficult for you. And you can always just put the clamp down, set it down there, let it dry, later on, put your lenses back on, and you're ready to go. So let me know what you think and if this has helped you. Thank you very much.